So chat two of Aperitif with Kumar at the Hilton Colombo, the Grace Kitchen, now open for dining. So most welcome here with my guest Nihara Jayatilaka Ratnam. Nihara, you have carved out for yourself an identity as Nihara Jayatilaka and not as Nihara Ratnam. Is it intentional? If yes, why? Yeah, it is intentional because I think at the time when I was marrying Chandran, I told him, listen, don't expect me to change my surname because I don't think it's necessary. If the man is confident, thank you. If the man is confident and then um, also he wanted me to have a personality of my own, you know, um, not really attached to his name, but carve out something of my own. That's so that's uh, that's what it was. So you, you, you don't even say Nihara Jatir Karatam? No. It is. Okay. Nihara Jatir like Now juggling, juggling horses and aircraft and flying and engineering and all that you're doing in your two worlds. Do you have time for your little daughter? I think she's 10 years old. Danara. Yes. Um, well, I have a fantastic team uh, that takes care of most of my day to day activity. And um, so, th so I, I don't really go early, uh, very early to office. Uh, I make sure that I take the ch take Danara to school. I spend enough time with her. She knows uh, she knows she's loved. She knows that we have enough time for her. She's she's the center of everything. And my team is fantastic in office. And uh, so, um, actually, f I'm a little concerned with from now on for the next two years is going to be a little bit difficult because of the situation and then you know aviation has taken a bit of a hit yes so, there's retrenching uh, happening retrenching around the world happening the and then people are a little worried but i think this next two years is the thing that we have to concentrate on so that by the time the retrenchment is over and the people who are there moves up and there'll be uh, this lab is this open. lab is open for the newcomers to be absorbed in. So that's what we are targeting at. So the people who who start their aviation careers now will be ready in two years, three years, to be absorbed into all these uh, airlines to fill in the gaps that were created artificially with this COVID situation. So we are very uh, sort of very hopeful and very optimistic. We're going to start on your on your meal. Uh, while I, so Nihara's daughter is Danara and the little girl is younger than Nihara's step-grandchildren and Nihara's stepchildren are older than Nihara uh, and Nihara's husband is older than her mother and he is closer to her father's age. I, I did not get confused. I got the equation <laughs> yes, right. You got it right. Yes. Tell me. <laughs> does it bother you? Uh, not really. I think it bothers others more than. I'm those. sure it does. <laughs> yes. Um, no, you know, it just happened, uh, and it just so happened that all this is, you know, by the way. And uh, for us, we never feel the age difference. Um, We've never felt it and we don't feel it either because as, as you know, Chandran is very much uh, fitter and young at heart and young... How does he maintain this? Young at mind is one yes, thing, yes. But, but young, young in body no. is something else. Young at, in mind is a key to being young at heart in everything else, your outlook. And he, he relates so well to the younger crowd because he's oh, yes, always yes. thinking, he's always creating things. So I think that's the key to it, you know. And uh, having Danara at this later stage has really sort of helped him also in that sense. So, um, yeah, it, it works very well. Now, you have a really super, very harmonious relationship with your husband's many ex-wives. <laughs> yes. uh, is this a fake thing that you put on to be yeah. nice or is it really real? No, it's really real because I don't think it... Uh, Look, I mean, a lot of people have these um, acrimonious separations, divorces, and they get married and, you know, the partners don't talk. I, I, I don't think it should be that because uh, it's family, you know, I mean, whatever said, and then we have, um, we have kids together and uh, he has kids with the other 
parties prior to that. So it's all family, and then they, they, I think they came to his life before me. So I don't think I have. A, a, and then, if I'm confident, I don't think it should matter at all because I'm secure in the knowledge that our relationship is is strong, and uh, it makes it that much easier for the relationship actually. Because when the man knows there is no conflict between the the exes, ex wives, and ex husbands or whatever. I think it makes the the relationship that much strong. So, what is his, what is Chandran's friendship with his ex-wives? They are oh, ex, very, but very they are close. still the mother of his children. Very close, very close relationships. And in fact, I'm very close to his first ex-wife, who's an American lady. She's fantastic. So, uh, so. We are very, very close. I, I mean, sometimes people wonder, you know, is it is it possible to be like that? But I, I hope that people will take an example out of us. We are Vision Care. Your hats are legendary. Um, you wear them to lure to the races, yes. and you you love your color combinations, your shapes, your sizes, your feathers. Um, how did this passion for hats begin? I think if you like horses, horse racing, and 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 being a bit stylish, I, I like to think that I'm maybe stylish. Yes, I don't you know. are. <laughs> then I think it comes automatically. You know, I'm, I love my hats, I love my shoes, and you know, bags. So um, hats is a natural extension of that. Um, I feel very comfortable, very chic when I wear the hat. So. Um, that's it. Without a hat, what do you feel? With a hat, what do you feel? You feel chic with a hat. Yeah, sure. Yes. But without yes. a hat. Oh, I do feel nice. You feel less chic? Than no, no, no. Hatted? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. But you know, hat brings mm. out a, that extra little Oomph thing. To it. <laughs> yes. Yes. And there's this uh, Milina at uh, <laughs> Rue, uh, Road of uh, Place de la Bastille in Paris. Where she gets your hats and yes, she's, yes, I think he's waiting for you for your next visit there. <laughs> yes. Uh, we are talking of oomph and all that. You know, you you are very um, you um, you are friendly. Yes. You are friendly to a point. Very, <laughs> and then one meets a glass wall there, you which at so? times one cannot see. Okay. I'm talking of people who told me. You know, uh, who is it? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Glass wall. I um I don't know. It's the first time that I I. I'm hearing that possibly because in in especially maybe this country uh, you can be a f be friendly but uh, you must one must always have certain limitations and boundaries I think because uh, sometimes people take you being friendly as a like a weakness you know that type of thing so I've always even told Chandran because sometimes Chandran is as you know, is very friendly and you it's know he's very outgoing and um, very jovial. Uh, but sometimes people tend to take advantage. So I always has this said, happened to you? Oh yes. Being friendly, open, yes, and you know all yes, that. Yes, yes, you can be misunderstood. Exactly, as well. exactly. Misunderstood, and then sometimes you're taken advantage of. So it's always best for everybody to know. Okay, she's friendly, all that, but but. There are certain limitations, certain boundaries that one must not cross. I think it's always important. Your mother, Mrs. Jayatilaka. No, she's Mrs. Uh, Dayas Nagavat. Mrs. Nagavat. Yeah. Uh, was a very tough woman. Yes. Uh, as a mother to uh, to the only child, only daughter Nihara. Yes. Uh, are you the same with your daughter Dana? Yes, to a certain. Two point, different eras. Two di totally different eras. My mother came from Gaul, so she has that that. You know, background, and uh, she goes on that. Say, I am more uh, more open, more friendly with my daughter, more on a friendlier term than my mother was. And uh, but I am tough, especially these are times that you need to be tough. But on the other hand, equally, I'm very friendly and open. And you know, she can ask me anything, she can talk to me anything. She's still trying to figure out this. Uh, the sisters being, you know, much older and so on and so forth. But uh, going back to my my mother is a Miss Dias Nagahavat, so she's always been taking her maiden name. So I think possibly I also um, 
I'm going on that 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 line. So Danara will be always Danara Ratna. No, Danara Nagavatta Ratna. I wanted my. Ah, you brought that also. In yes, place. because my mother's side has a certain heritage. If you ask anyone in Gaul and say Dias Nagavattas, there is a big story. Story mm. there. So that's how it is. And then of course the Ratnams have a certain story as that's well. Right. So. Before we close, Nehara, there is see lots of parents today are anxious, concerned because kids today have easy access to pornography. Um, click of a button, a friend's mobile phone, an older cousin's mobile phone—it's just there, which we as kids did not have. It, it's just it's just there. Are you anxious for your child? Yes, I am anxious, but um, I am a parent who gives hardly any time for my daughter. To be on the phone or the tab. Yes, she's given about 15 minutes a day, but nothing more than that. And I control it. And I don't believe that the kids should be given tabs and uh, and phones, unlike I know most parents do because it's the easiest thing to do. But one thing, it's not good because of the access. It's not good also for the radiation of the <clears throat> of the kids' eyes and the brains, because when you watch watch um, anything on on a tab, for the next 45 minutes. It, you will not be able to concentrate and and take anything into your brain. That is a scientific finding. So, children who are studying should not be given uh, tabs and phones. And I don't, I don't intend to. I I, I hope I can stick with my uh, my uh, my resolve. But what I say is also talk to the kids, explain that there is a thing like this. These are happenings. I have. Explain to my little daughter about the use of drugs sometimes in school, and then she understands. And uh, likewise, you must also tell, being a girl, you must tell about people touching you and so on. The same way you can, on a, on a very lesser, simple way, talk about pornography as well. I think if that's the way to go about it. But as a friend, it's more as a friend and yeah. not in a lot. Forcing. No, not forcing. forcing doesn't work. Not, no, that does not work because then they will want to go and experience it. No, it should be as a friend. You know, they, these are things that are happening, uh, and and explain and uh, warn them. Thank you, Nihara. Thank you so much for being my guest on the show, accepting my invitation, and nice talking to you and listening to all your stories. Thank you, Kumar. Thank you for having me, and all the best to you for future episodes as well. Thanks so much. Okay. We meet you again next uh, next Friday at the same time, same place, all that. Uh, so together with uh, our sponsors, Ramani Fernando Salons and the Hilton Colombo, uh, have a safe weekend and catch you soon, everybody. Good night. Mm -hmm.